Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapture's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely wonderful. We're going to see what our spirit guides have for us today. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so greatly appreciated. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, okay? All right, guys, we're going to get right into this. This is going to be for Virgo. Let's see what our spirit guides have for us today. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddess that gives our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me. Show me, dear Holy Spirit. Show me what it is that I need to see for Virgo. Show me. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Is there anything else, Holy Spirit? All right. So let's get into this. Spirit has your back. First out. Spirit has your back. Your spirit guides want you to know that they have your back. Okay, guys? The divine wants you to know that they have your back. Okay, we have magic works through you. Hmm. Yeah, scarab beetle spirit. Then we have dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusions. Then we have beaver spirit. Lay a solid foundation. And then we have koi fish spirit. There is always enough. Hmm, I like all these cards. Let's get into this. So as we know, spirit has our back. As we know, magic works through you. Because you have the ability and the power to make anything happen. I've, I'm getting in your energy how you push through things that normal people probably wouldn't push through. I'm getting here in the energy someone that has been through so much that some people probably wouldn't even understand that feeling, that pain, that joy. Because I am getting here while there's a lot of you guys, you may have been through things. You've actually experienced so much grace from the divine. And truth transcends illusions. There's somebody here in your energy that is a liar. There's somebody here in your energy that is a liar and you know that they are a liar. Spirit says that you need to lay a solid foundation. I feel like you need to, this is saying that you need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on yourself or if some of you guys, if you're in a connection or in a relationship, if you're married, if you have a family. Spirit is saying that you need to lay a solid foundation. You need to bring your focus to yourself and your family. For some of you guys, you need to bring some type of stability back into your home. That message is meant for someone. Spirit is saying there is always enough. There is someone here in this energy that feels like there is not enough. There's not enough time. There's not enough abundance. There's not enough love. But Spirit is saying there is always enough. It's just, it's just how you perceive it to be. What is it that holds value to yourself? What do you hold so dear to your heart? What is the value within your life? What do you value? That's what your spirit guides is asking you. What is it that you value? Because there's always enough. If you have something in your life that you value, that's enough. You know why that's enough? That's enough to get you to wake up in the morning to make sure that you can take care of it. Whether that be your kids, whether that be your home, whether that be some type of status, whether that be some type of career, you have a reason to wake up every morning so there's always enough. There's always enough time. There's always enough abundance. There's always enough of happiness because if you truly didn't feel that way, things would be different. Spirit wants you to remember that your spirit guides has your back. Your ancestors have your back. The divine has your back. Faith is not bullshit. Faith is the thing that we hold so near and dear. Why is that? Because without faith, Nothing is real. Without faith, there's no hope. Spirit wants you to know that magic works through you. You bring some something to this world. Whatever it may be. 
everybody has something different that they may bring to the world and you have something very specific that you bring to the world whether it be your energy whether it be your honesty whether it be your smile or your laughter whether it be your desire for hope for healing for helping another that is an, a that's a positivity that you bring to the world that's your magic that's your offering that's your offering to this world truth transcends illusions you know the truth somebody in your energy is lying to you but you know the truth you know the truth so it doesn't matter why because your focus is on laying a solid foundation for yourself and for your family that's where your focus is at your focus is not on the person that is deceiving themselves really and truly show me what i need to see for virgo Show me, show me what I need to see. Virgo, your intuition is on max right now. Hmm. Look at that, we have illusions again. So we have a calm at the center of the storm. That's you. That's you. I'm getting here in this energy like someone that is very calm. Someone that is surrounded by peace. I'm not saying that you haven't gone through things, but I feel like present moment, everything is better. Everything is better in some type of way, shape, or form. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. Your spirit guide says intuition, innermost guidance. Listen, trust, and allow. You need to listen to your in, you, you need to listen to your intuitions because you have illusions and illusions here twice. It says all is not what it appears to be. Stay alert. Someone, someone in your mix is keeping secrets. Or someone in your mix is lying to you or you have someone coming towards you that is going to be a liar but spirit is saying for you to trust in your intuitions because you will know you're going to know the truth your intuition in your gut is going to pre-warn you of this person okay and it says permission live as you most wish you hold the key you don't need anybody's permission you don't need anybody's permission to do anything that it is that you want. You do what makes you happy. You know what I always say? You only have this one life to live. Excuse me, guys. You only have one life to live. And if you're not living life, what's the purpose in living? You see that? By all means, all I'm saying is that you only have this one life to live. So make the most of it. Make yourself happy happy do what makes you happy but make sure that you are not doing anything to hurt another that's not true happiness that's not allowing that opportunity for the divine to see your grace see your humbleness see your see who you truly are see the good in you Remember to always be just and to always be good. Yes, but to always try to make yourself happy. Because if you're living a life that is not full of happiness, why are you living? You know that? It's like that's the thing that you need to focus on. Focus on the things that make you happy. Focus on working on things to get you to that happy place. It says offering. Give with a generous spirit. Blessings abound. Yes. Yes. There's someone that needs your help. There's someone that needs something from you that's in your energy. Someone has less than. And I'm not telling you to go and buy this person a car or a home. But for some, for some of you guys, there's someone that needs a place to, to lay their head. And this is somebody that you know. For some of you guys, it's someone that might need a few dollars. It's okay. The divine is going to bless you. In, in more ways than you know there's someone here that needs you just to check on them there's someone here that just needs you to take about 20 minutes of your time just to call them and talk to them there's someone here that needs to hear that you love them because you know what nobody else has told this to them there's someone here that needs you to make them feel 
that they mean something to someone just as you would want that same favor what your spirit guides is calling you to do is to take care of yourself but to also take care of another to remember to remember that we're not we're, we're not in this world to live only just for ourselves okay your spirit guides want you to remember you're not in this world to live only for yourself and to remember to maintain being a good person because I know I get this in the energy that sometimes not every day is a good day not every day is a good day and not every day is the day that you want to talk to people you want to deal with people you want to smile I get that I get that but let me tell you you have a lot of magic in your energy you do and a lot of people depend on that magic they depend on that energy that you give off and when your energy is low it affects so many others it does Oh wow, this card comes from a whole nother deck. And I'm going to pull from that deck soon, but it's the path. Hmm. We're going to take it though. Healing waters. Some of you guys need to take a spiritual bath. Some of you guys need to get out in nature. Some of you guys need to spend some time out in nature. Prosperity and abundance. Look at her. You have prosperity and abundance coming towards you. I know you feel it. I know you feel it. You do. You have prosperity and abundance because you know what? I'm getting someone that is surrounded by peace. It's peace from the inside out. Ain't it nice? I feel someone that is glowing. Someone that's relaxing. Someone that's enjoying life. Spirit says true transcends illusions. Yes, in this lifetime, we're going to always get people that will come to us and they're going to come to us sideways. We know that. We know that. But the thing about it is your intuition is, is working overtime right now. It's working overtime. And the thing about it is while we may be in Virgo season and we are actually coming out of Virgo season, Virgos are intact with Mother Earth. Virgos are truly intact with spirit. So it doesn't matter what point in time this year, the moons and the trans transitions, it doesn't matter what transitions. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how we're entering into fall and things are trans trans transitioning. <laughs> Sorry about that. Transitioning. That doesn't matter. Because as long as you stay grounded, you're gonna always get that guidance from spirit. You're going to always be getting those downloads. So it doesn't matter what month of the year it is. Right now, your intuition is at its peak. It really and truly is. But the thing about it is so many of you guys, you have transcended already. So you're always getting these downloads. You're always getting this spiritual messages from the divine. So you're going to you're going to smell. You're going to see. You're going to be able to touch this false because there's someone here in your energy. This person is a liar. This person will be keeping secrets or this person is currently keeping secrets from you. But the thing about it is you will know that this person is lying to you. You know this person is lying to you. You do. Spirit wants you to know that they have your back. Spirit wants you to know that they have your back because you have a path. You're being guided down a path. And you have two you have a decision to make between two paths. But there's only one path that the divine has the divine has lighted up for you. There's only one path that is of righteousness. There is there's only one path that's going to bring you true happiness, true fulfillment, and it's at your discretion to use the magic within yourself to see past the illusions, to go down a path that's there, to whereas you're going to be able to lay a solid foundation. And you're going to be at a point in time in your life where there will always be enough. There's going to always be enough. It's at your discretion what path you choose to go down. As long as you go down the just and the righteous path. Remember, I want you to always think, are you happy? Does this bring you true, true, clean? Let's say that. Does this bring you true, clean happiness where you're not hurting yourself or hurting anyone else does it bring you true clean happiness show me holy spirit show me what i need to see for virgo 
show me show me what I need to see for Virgo fruition everything you've manifested is coming there are some extremes and you know what this is somebody somebody's coming towards you very passionately very passionate somebody feels they have to take action yeah hmm I feel like for some of you guys, you have somebody coming towards you and your spirit guides is telling you to take it slow, okay? So if you're entering into a new connection or if you're like, if you're in a new connection now or if you're entering into a new connection, your spirit guides wants you to take it slowly. For some of you guys, you have someone coming towards you very passionately, very passionately. I have two different individuals coming towards you. One's coming towards you very passionately. This is like a thief in the night here. This is somebody that really and truly just wants intimacy from you. But you also have someone here that's coming into your energy. This person is a liar. This person is a liar. Where this could be the same person. I'm, I am getting two different energies. This person is a liar. And when I say that, this person could just be, it could be a family, friend, co-worker, a boss. It could be anybody that comes into your energy. It could be somebody that you're in a connection with or that you're going to be entering into connection with. But your spirit guides are going to let you know. Your spirit guides are going to let you know that this person is truly a liar because they are. But your intuitions is going to tell you the truth. Your intuitions is going to guide you. You just have to pay attention and listen. Okay, pay attention and listen because you do have a path to go down. One that the divine has lit for you. Why? Because and you have a righteous path in the, in the sense that you have the magic within you that is going to help transcend okay it's going to be it's going to allow you to be able to lay that solid foundation because at some point in time in your life you, there's going to be enough there's going to be you're going to have so much you're going to be able to help others and ain't that nice when you have so much that you can help yourself and you can help others and you will not have to stress about it you're coming to that point in time in your life when you will not actually have to stress about helping another that message is meant for many. Whatever it is that you've manifested is going to be coming to fruition. For some of you guys, there's somebody here that you do want. And spirit, your spirit guides are saying to take it slow with this person. Somebody's being called to action. Somebody is being called to action. Show me the path. Show me the path of Virgo. Spirit mentors and teachers. Power, truth. Look at that. You have power, truth. And there is a connection coming towards you. Your spirit guides are gu is guiding you to someone and someone to you. For some of you guys, this could be just a friend. With all honesty, for some of you guys, it could be this could be a connection. But for some of you guys, I'm getting here in this energy, this is a friend. But it's going to be a friend that is going to truly help you heal. Yeah. For some of you guys, this is going to be somebody that's going to help you sp help you on a spiritual journey. You could be coming into contact with someone that is going to help you on this spiritual journey. For some of you guys, you may be coming into contact with somebody that is like a spirit mentor or a teacher, somebody like a spirit guide, somebody that's going to be able to help you see what's see, see what's going on. Help you see where you need to be in this lifetime. Help to guide you, help to strengthen you. But your spirit guides is sending someone to you that is going to be able to help you, to help guide you. I'm seeing some of you guys, you may be scientists, some of you guys may be musicians, some of you guys may be artists, some of you guys may be spiritual light workers yourself. I have a, I'm seeing a lot of talent. I'm seeing a lot of talent. I see a lot of power, a lot of truth, and I see a connection coming towards you. That's that path that the divine is, is guiding you to. That's the path that the divine is guiding you to. It's out with the old, in with the new. This is where you're going. This is where you're going. Show me fruition. Ooh, look at that. Up from the depths, releasing difficulty. Some of you guys, you wanted to be able, you prayed to be able to release yourself from the past. Anything that was difficult in your life, you prayed for it. 
and I feel like your spirit guides have been a lot of you guys your spirit guides have already answered you for some of you guys your spirit guides are working on it right now it's working on releasing you from difficulty I'm getting here in the energy a lot of you guys you have been released from difficulty already a lot of you guys you have been you've been released from difficulty already that's what I'm getting here in this energy but for some of you guys your spirit guides are still working on it they're still working on it for you whatever it is that you that you manifested it's going to come into fruition okay show me extremes show me extremes for Virgo emotional influence yeah you see I got this energy this person that's coming towards you there's something here that's kind of toxic and when I say toxic is somebody here that really and truly they don't it's like somebody that doesn't have your best interest at heart somebody that wants to come in because they want what they want and it says emotional influence but this person has some type of this person has this you feel something for this person but you know this message is meant for someone you know it's only sex though you know that it's only sex but you feel something for this person it's something about this person this person tugs on your emotions hmm show me action surrender freedom from time constraint let me tell you some of you guys are going to be walking away from your job in the month of november november 17th may mean something for some of you guys november between november 17th and november 19th will mean something for some of you guys you're going to take action and you're going to surrender yourself from some type of time constraints whether this was is within work or with that whether this is within a connection some of you guys you're going to be severing ties with something in the month of november between november 17th and november 19th take heed of that hmm it really and truly could be between november 15th and november 19th some of you guys you're going to be walking away from something you will be show me patience inactivity isolation peace you're going to need patience with someone this is someone that you haven't been in contact with for a while this person is coming towards you this person is coming towards you and sp your spirit guides is saying that you're going to need patience you're going to because this person is going to test your patience this person is going to try to take away your peace Spirit, your spirit guides is, says just to stay quiet let it pass let the person entertain themselves don't worry about it your spirit guides have you let this person say all that they have to say because i could hear i'm seeing and i'm hearing somebody just running their mouth in your ear your spirit guide says don't even let them take away your peace your spirit guide says to let them do say what they got to say and let them go about their business so your spirit guide says to just act like you're unfazed okay Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Show me. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Hmm. Confidence is key to success. Yeah, it is. Nothing is yet set in stone. And it says take a deep breath. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. It says confidence is key to your success. I do see success coming your way for some of you guys you're going to be starting your own business some of you guys you're going to you're going to be walking away I saw this already I've been seeing this for some of you guys you're going to go from employee to employer that message is meant for many we have take time to breathe breathe out take time to breathe out there is people in your energy I do get that you have someone here in your energy that's a liar you have someone here that tugs on your emotions you have someone here that's going to test your gangster i get this here in this energy but i feel like you're going to be fine nonetheless i just feel like you're going to be fine there's the, your spirit guides your divine never said that you're not going to have difficulties they never said that you're not going to have difficulties and i feel like you're going to be fine like I, i'm getting people that i'm getting individuals that are unfazed because you know this already you've dealt with this already you you're, you're above it i feel like i'm getting here in this energy somebody that's above the nonsense somebody that's above like 
like how how pitiful is these people that's what i'm getting here in this energy how sad is these people that they're going to come and they're going to try to test somebody that is favored because you are favored nothing is yet set in stone your spirit guides want you to know that anything can change at any moment in time in your life anything can change but you got this your spirit guides wants me to remind you that you got this you do you got this show me holy spirit show me what i need to see for virgo as i say that it's like i'm hearing running water and i know there's no running water you got this show me holy spirit show me what i need to see for virgo oh that's a beautiful card I get this in your energy. I get this in your energy. All right. So we have see with your heart. It's time. Okay. The time is now to hear the messages. See what's in your heart. Your spirit guides is saying. The divine is you're getting downloads. You're getting downloads. It says dream big dream with your heart. You know, there's something that you want. I've been seeing this. There's something that you want in spirit. Your spirit guides want you to take action and take a leap of faith. Some of you guys need to take a leap of faith. It says past life emotion lives in you. You are expressing more. It is releasing. Yeah. You know, that's what I got here. Even when I got right here in this energy, there's going to be somebody here that's going to come in and they're going to test your, they're going to test your gangster. They're going to test your patience. They're going to push the buttons. But I feel like that's going to also allow you to release certain emotions that's kind of been hindered. It's kind of been pushed down. That message is meant for someone. There's someone here that does still have emotions for someone. The person that's going to come in and that's going to test their patience. And it's going to allow you to release yourself from that hold that this person has been having on you. Because I feel like you're really and truly, I'm not getting the energy of somebody that is phased. I'm really not. Like somebody that really, because I get there's people that's coming in here, but I'm telling you, I'm not getting here in this energy that you're going to be phased. And I'm, 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 I'm happy to say that I don't get here in this energy that this is going to phase you, that this is going to interrupt your life. I don't see it interrupting your progress. I really don't. Show me Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Virgo hmm earth it learning how to be human in the world but not of it that's just you learning how to be a better person ain't that nice that's just you learning how to be a better person look it says the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, and a rare gift. You are. I feel like a lot of you guys, you've been chosen by spirit. I'm, I'm getting in the energy somebody that is truly, somebody that has a really good heart. Somebody that really, really has a really good heart. Like I'm telling you, it's almost like a glow of light coming from your heart. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. It says longing for home, homesick for the stars. Somebody misses being with you. One of these individuals that's coming towards you. Look, guys, I get different energies. You, you take it as it resonates. And if it doesn't resonate with you, leave it behind. But there's somebody here that you're in separation with. For some of you guys, it could be a kid. It could be one of your children. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. But for some of you guys, there's somebody that you are in separation with or somebody that you are not in the same vicinity with. This person is missing you, missing being home with you. Hmm. There's a sense of innocence around you right now. I'm getting that sense of peace. There's a lot of you guys that can't tell me that you're not feeling the peace within your surroundings. There's a lot of you guys that can't tell me that your life is not different present moment. Like there's a lot of you guys that you can't tell me that while you may be, you may not be where you truly want to be. You can't tell me that you aren't in a better place. 
Guys, if this message resonates with you, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. If you appreciate the spiritual messages from the divine, let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't, and I hope you have a magnificent day. An absolutely, positively magnificent day. Bye, guys.